All right, Rick, like we do every week, it's time to pick some games. First game on the menu, Fast Drop traveling to Westlake, a game that might decide the 25-5A championship. I think it will. I think Westlake's going to take it. They have a better running game than Fast Drop. They proved it last week against Pflugerville. Uh, Tanner Price, a good running quarterback. I was a little surprised by the number of yards he runs for. Um, excellent football team, well coached. I'm going with Westlake. And Westlake, if you look at their stats, they're not doing anything extreme or you know crazy, but all they're doing is winning. And I think that streak continues this week. Bastrop's had a nice run, but I think their first district loss is going to come over over on over at Chaparral Stadium. Sorry about that. Um, next game, Lago Vista Academy, a little small school flavor. Who do you got? I got uh, Lago Vista. They got uh, Jason Cormier as an excellent quarterback. And I think the quarterback, in this case, means a lot. They both have a common opponent, and uh, Lexington and Lago Vista had their way with them. And uh, I, I, that's the way I see it. Uh, you know, this is going to be a game that decides whether or not Academy's loss last week was an aberration or, um, you know, they really are not who we thought we, they were going into the season. A lot of people picked them to... And be the district favorite. I'm going to go with the Academy. They're at home. They need to recover from last week, so expect to see them come out hot and you know maybe get Lago Vista into an early hole. Um, next game, going to go down to, up to Colleen. Um, we've got Marble Falls visiting the Kangaroos. Who do you have? I've got Colleen mainly because they, they just don't stop scoring. Michael Cummings is an outstanding quarterback. He might be an MVP choice, if not for the Lake Travis guys this year. Mm-hmm. I like Colleen. 48-42 last week against Dripping Springs. And uh, Marble Falls, they just don't score as much to, to keep up with a game like this. Yeah, like I said, Warner, this is going to be a um, preview of a couple quarterbacks we're going to be seeing for the next couple of years. Zed Warner is a sophomore from Marble Falls. He's had a great start to his varsity career. Um, Michael Cummings is a well-known junior. But I'm going to give it to Clean. Um, they've been able to play. They played with like Travis for a while last week, um, scored enough to be Driven Springs. So they can just outscore Marble Falls. So I think that's what's going to happen. Last game, Austin High, Bowie, rivalry game. How do you see this one handling? I see it with Austin High. I think they just scored too many points for Bowie. It seems like Austin High scores 28 to 30 points every game. They got the two outstanding receivers, uh, Thomas Kaufman and Caleb Jones, Jacob Morgan, outstanding quarterback. Bowie, a little bit of a disappointment so far this year. They're just not scoring enough points to stay up with a game like this. A couple weeks ago, I said Bowie was my favorite to win that district. They started 0-2. They can't start 0-3 and expect to make the playoffs. There's just too many talented teams in that district. I'm going to go with Bowie. If they don't win this week, I'm probably off that bandwagon. So well, it's desperation for the Bulldogs. We'll see what happens. So, yeah, check back with us next week. As always, you can read about our recaps in the paper on Saturday, and we'll be here next week to give up more game balls and talk about more predictions.